Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. This is Sugandha, and today I'll be talking about lab manager positions as opportunities for gaining experience before applying to grad school in cognitive science. Um, I just got an email uh, in my inbox today advertising one such position, and I just thought many people might not even know about it. So let me share my screen and show you the advertisement. So this is one such advertisement. And I just want to say that um, usually it's very common in cognitive science labs to advertise these lab manager positions. And these lab manager positions are usually looked at uh, as a way for the lab to have someone in the lab who can help with the ongoing activities in the lab, like scheduling lab meetings or training new members and things like that. But also it gives an opportunity for uh, the person who would be hired as a lab manager to do some research in the lab. And it's a great opportunity because you get access to the resources in the lab. Uh, you get an opportunity to talk to all the grad students, postdocs and research scientists, uh, and even the professor working uh, in the lab and running the lab. And so I think it's a great opportunity. So if you are interested in um, you know applying to grad school in cognitive science and uh, you are looking to gain research experience, then you should also be looking at uh, opportunities that are advertised um, for lab manager positions at these different cognitive science labs. So this is one example where you know you can see that this is uh, a, a, um, an, a position advertised by two labs jointly. And you can see that there is an overview. This is advertised by Department of Psychology. Um, and there are there is a list of responsibilities and uh, detailed responsibilities that you would be responsible for. And so let's just uh, click at this and see what details this has. So uh, uh, see, this, this gives even more detailed explanation of the responsibilities. And we can see this is very important. The qualification is just a bachelor's degree in psychology or a related field. And so as long as you have just a bachelor's degree in psychology or in cognitive science or neuroscience or some, some related field, then uh, you are qualified for a lab manager position. And you can see that they've also specified what is the expected number of hours you'll work, uh, whether you will be eligible for being paid over time. So these are usually paid positions. Um, and, and in some cases, uh, they might not be, but uh, nevertheless, they give you an opportunity to uh, gain lots of research experience. And um, in the end, uh, they must have some, yes. So here's the button where, you know, you can just click this button and apply for this job. And I also want to show you, so this is a joint opportunity between Professor Tanya and Professor Tom uh, Griffiths. And so uh, Professor Tanya Lombroso runs this Concepts and Cognition Lab. And they're basically doing research on explanation, on studying explanation, how humans are able to explain things, which is a very complicated process because it, in, in, it requires uh, inference learning um, and understanding and so on. Um, and, and the other lab, um, which is a computational cognitive science lab run by Professor Tom Griffiths, um, does work on a bunch of topics, including causal induction, probabilistic reasoning, basically building models to explain how humans reason about things. And they also build models of language um, and so on and so forth. So that's all uh, I wanted to say today. Um, and I'm going to uh, also give you one example actually um, of uh, the current lab manager um, in, one of the labs I'm working in. So let me just find focus I lab and let's go to people and let's for look for a lab manager here. So Yoni Freeman is the lab manager here um, in Josh and Mom's lab uh, in MIT's brain and cognitive sciences department. And um, Josh is also one of my uh, supervisors. And so Yoni, um, we can, you know, if you are interested, you can go and look at his website and his resume, and you'll find that he has, uh, you know, he's a dual major in cognitive science and computer science. Um, and after this, and he has a bunch of experience, not necessarily directly in cognitive science, but in, for instance, he did some internships in software engineering, and he, he did a teaching teachers teaching assistant position, and so on. And so this is just to give you an idea of what kind of background you might need for you to apply for these positions. And so um, that's basically it. And just to summarize, I just want to say that 
if you are looking to apply for grad school in cognitive science and you're looking to go, gain work experience, you can apply for lab manager positions. Usually people apply to lab manager positions right after their undergrad. Uh, uh, and if you have an undergrad in psychology or in cognitive science, that would be perfect. Uh, or even computer science, that would be uh, perfect. And um, these positions give you an opportunity to go and help the lab in their administrative processes. But at the same time, they give you an opportunity to interact with students and postdocs and research scientists in the lab. And many of the lab managers actually end up working on research projects and publishing papers in uh, the top conferences uh, in cognitive science. So uh, I would recommend you to consider these positions and for finding these positions, you can um, take a look um, at the websites of the uh, cognitive science labs that you're interested in to see if they've advertised any such positions from time to time. Um, so that's all from my side. I'll post the links that I used today um, in the description below. And if you're interested in some similar videos, then feel free to check out um, the playlist right at the bottom of the screen. See you next time.